Janistas, it's Anya. Welcome back to my channel. Today I have my latest want to bowl to share with you all. So if you want to see what I received in my March box, stick around. So want to bowl is a clothing styling service similar to Stitch Fix. You fill out a profile and it's a $20 styling fee and the stylist will send you seven items. You have five days to try on everything and keep what you like, send back what you don't. And the $20 styling fee will be applied to any item you keep. And if you keep at least five items, you get a 20% discount. So here's what it looks like. They do personalize it. So mine says styled for Anya. Let's take out the bundle. So here it is. I think I just asked for spring transition items. I see a lot of pretty neutrals, maybe some florals and polka dots. I like that green color. So let's open it up and see what we have. Wantable does have a stream. You can go in and look at their items and request or decline things. And it looks like two of the items I did request, they have a heart next to them. And then you will have a note from your stylist and the note that you wrote her. So I do have Morgan again. So let's see how she did this go round. Here's my return mailer to send back anything I don't want. Shipping's free both ways. So first up is a blouse by West K. This cute little floral print. It's got a yellow background and the colors are kind of a dusty blue, white, and orange. It does have a tie here at the bottom, which I'm gonna be honest is not really my thing, but maybe it could be tucked in. It has cute little flutter sleeves. Feels like your typical thin uh, polyester material. Yep, 100% polyester. You can machine wash cold and tumble dry low. So it's cute. I'm not over the moon with it. Um, these colors aren't my favorite colors in the world. And like I said, I don't really like the tie, but we'll try it on and see what we think. Next up is a dress by Tribal Jeans in a size medium. This is a cute little summery dress. It's got some black spaghetti straps. The straps are adjustable. It's smocked here on the top. Very stretchy. And then the bottom has this cool pattern. Kind of like a black and white tie dye. I like that, that's cute. Looks like it's gonna be very comfy. It has a little tie here at the waist. So yeah, that's cute. That'd be something nice to wear for the summer. I like it. Next is a blouse by 78 and Sunny in a size medium in this pretty emerald green color. It's just got some button down details and a, another tie at the bottom shirt. <laughs> ah, pretty V-neck. Looks like it's just gonna have maybe a cap sleeve or more of a squarish boxy fit to it. Very soft, 78 and Sunny is a good quality brand, but they tend to run a little expensive. This one's 95 Modal, 5% spandex. Machine wash cold, lay flat to dry. Love the color, like the button detail, don't really like the tie at the bottom. Oh, I forgot to tell y'all the material for the dress. Let's check that out. One more thing I noticed, the straps are removable. So if you wanna wear this as a sleeveless dress, you can. So the dress is 95% rayon, 5% spandex. Let's see, machine wash delicate in cold and tumble dry low. Oh, and some of you were asking how the bridal shower went for my daughter. So at the end of this video, I'll pop up a few pictures so you can see all the fun we had that day. It was a wonderful day. Here is another blouse by West K in a size medium. Love the polka dot and the floral print in this. It's got a pretty little v-neck here and it has a tie, but it's on the side. So it kind of crosses over, ties on the side. I think this was one I requested. 
because I just think the pattern is super cute. Love the fun colors in there. You've got some reds and pinks and blue, green, black, white, orange. And the back, the bottom of the shirt is elastic. So it's got some stretch to it. This one is also 100% polyester, machine wash cold, tumble dry low. So this is really cute. I hope it fits nice because I really like the pattern of this. This would be so cute with some black work pants and some pumps to wear to the office or just a cute sandal. Ooh, and next is a jacket by the brand Liverpool in a size medium. This pretty khaki beige color. It's got cuffs here at the sleeve. It's got a little pocket here on both sides. Does not have any buttons. It's just going to have a little lapel, an open lapel on each side. This is cute. I think I might have requested this one too. Has a little vent in the back. I, I like Liverpool. It's a very good quality brand. This one is 53 cotton, 44 viscose, 3% elastane. It says to wash it inside out. And that's really all it says. <laughs> wash inside out. So probably wash it on cold. So that's cute. I like that. We'll see if the price is good. This is a pair of pants by the brand Easel, Easel in a size large. They're a button fly in this pretty olive sage green color. And it looks like it's going to be a wide leg. It's got your scissored hem here at the bottom. Because I am short, I'm only 5'1", sometimes these wide leg pants tend to not look right on me because they're either too long or too short. So I have a feeling these are gonna be too long, but we'll try them on and see. Love the color though, love the button fly. There's a little bit of stretch to these. These are 65 cotton, 33 rayon, 2% spandex. You hand wash cold and dry flat. Cute. And the last up are these pants by Liverpool. She sent them in a large. They've got a belt detail here in the front and stretchy elastic detail in the back. These again also look like they're going to be a wide leg. This is more on the thin side. So kind of worried about that. <laughs> It might show lumps and bumps that we don't want to show. It does have a button and a zipper function. I like the color of these though. And these are 47 polyester, 44 viscose, 6 elastane, 3% other fiber. Wash inside out separately. These are cute. We'll have to see what they look like on. It might overwhelm my petite frame, but we'll give it a go. So those are my pieces. Stay tuned for the try on and we'll see how they look. Okay, first item is the dress. This is by Tribal. They're calling it the smocked dress with removable straps in black, size medium, 6'8", and it is $68. The first thing I noticed about this is the strap area wants to flip if you can see that, I don't know if the camera's picking up, but this elastic piece wants to flip down and it will not stay up where the straps meet. So that's kind of annoying. <laughs> um, I just tucked my bra straps in for this video, but well, now they seem to be staying a little bit better. Maybe I just had to play with it a little bit, but the straps, like I said, they are adjustable. There is a little bit of a stretchy elastic waist with the cute little tie on the side. There are no pockets. And it's hitting me below my knees. Once again, I'm only 5'1". 
So it's cute. It's very soft, very easy, flowy, comfy dress. So it's cute. I'm not head over heels over it, but it is very comfortable. It would be nice to wear if you were going to the beach or needed something just soft and comfy to wear around the house. So yeah, I do like the tie-dye pattern here at the bottom. I think that's different. It's pretty. So it's a possibility. I'm going to put that Stitch Fix cardigan that I was wearing in the intro over this so we can see how this dress might look with a cardigan. So you could wear this to the office if you throw a cardigan over it. That gives it a different look. It's still cute, I think. Yeah, it's cute. Let me know what you think and we'll keep going. Okay, next two pieces. Here is the green top by um, 78 and Sunny. This is a Tahoe tie front top in Hunter Green, size medium 6.8, and it's $46, which is a good price for 78 and Sunny. I went ahead and tucked it in. Here are the jeans by Liverpool. They're calling these the belted paper bag wide leg crop in dusty tan, size large. They're $109. So I went ahead and paired them with a pair of pumps just to see where the length was hitting me. They're supposed to be cropped, but on me, they're hitting me right at my ankle. I can't decide if I like the length or not. Um, I don't know. I just can't get used to wide leg pants. I just think they look odd on me because I'm so short. These do have pockets. They are kind of wanting to bunch here at the crotch, which is a little distracting. They do have pleats here on the side too, which I don't know if I'm a fan of because they're not very flattering from the side angle. So for $109, these are probably gonna be a no. They are very comfortable though, nice and soft and thin. So, hmm. Not crazy about it, to be honest. Let me go ahead and take the shirt out. Here is the blouse taken out of the pants, so you can see how that looks. It does have the little tie here at the bottom. Don't really care for that. Love the color. I like the pretty v-neck. I think it's very flattering here on top, the way the sleeves kind of go out at an angle. I do like that. But if I were to keep this, I'd probably, I would undo the knot and just tuck it back in <laughs> and just wear it tucked in all the time. So I need to decide if that's something I want to do with this shirt and keep it or not. All right, let's keep going. Hey, are you enjoying this video so far? If you are, I would love it if you would hit the subscribe button if you've not subscribed yet and give this video a like if you like these kind of videos. It's totally free. Okay, next two pieces. Here is the floral top. This is by the brand West Key. It says West Key on the paper. It said West K on the, on the tag. It's the sleeveless floral woven tie front top in sage, size medium, and it's $52. So again, I do like the pretty flutter sleeves. I don't know if I'm crazy about this color pattern on me. Um, I tend to gravitate toward more vibrant colors. I like purples and reds and greens and blues. These seem a little bit more muted in my opinion, but it's not terrible. It would be something different to put in my closet. Don't really like the tie here in the middle. I, if I were to keep it up, just probably wear it tucked in, just like the other top. Here are the pants by Easel. They're calling these the button front wide leg jean in faded olive, size large, and it's $78. So these come up really high. Um, they're going up past my belly button. I do like the button fly detail of these. 
The pockets are a little bit shallow here and they kind of just sit here in the front. Here's the back. They do have pockets in the back. These are hitting a little longer than the first pair, which I appreciate. So, I don't know, I'm gonna have to watch the footage back. I would love to own a pair of pants in this color because I don't have any green pants. So, these are a maybe. I don't know. I think these are also wanting to kind of pull at the crotch area, which is not, not super flattering, so. I'll have to watch the footage back and see what I think. Here's a look at the blouse from the back. And let's go ahead and put the Liverpool jacket over top of this and see what we think about that. All right, here is the jacket by Liverpool. It's the fitted blazer in biscuit tan, size medium, 6'8", and it's $119. Love, love, love the way this fabric feels. It's very nice. Um, you could tell this is a good quality. It's on, more on the thin side, which I appreciate living in Southwest Louisiana. <laughs> um, I feel like the length might be a little too long on me. I wish it were a little bit shorter. I like the styling of it though. It is very pretty. So, I don't know, I already own two um, tan blazers. One's a wool blazer, which I hardly ever get to wear, but one is a Calvin Klein um, tan blazer. So, I probably can't justify keeping this for the price. So, this is probably gonna be a no, but I do like it. It is, a, you can tell, it's a very well-made, high-quality piece. Okay, all we have left is the little polka dot Allows that ties on the side, so let's check that one out. Here's the cute little floral and polka dot blouse by West Key. It's the printed woven surplus top in ivory slash red floral, size medium, and it's $54. Love the pattern of this. This is a totally Anya pattern. It does have a stitch here in the V-neck, so there's gonna be no wardrobe malfunctions, but it does open up here on the side, and then it has the little tie here. The entire bottom is elastic, which always makes me weary because if you raise your hands too high, I feel like it's gonna fly up. <laughs> so I'm always, I've, I don't own any um, elastic bottom blouses for that reason. Um, the side where it ties doesn't make the shirt any tighter, and I almost feel like there's a lot of looseness here where it kind of just wants to hang open. I tried to make it tighter here to see if that would fix the problem, but it really didn't. I wonder if you could untie this and use this shirt as a tucked-in shirt. You know, that might solve all these issues that I'm having with it. I put it with these pair of tribal pants that I own from Stitch Fix. I love these. They're just a, a slip on pant because this is probably how I would wear it to the office if I were to keep it. Let me undo the bow before I show you the back. <laughs> so here's the back. I kind of wish it wasn't an elastic bottom shirt. If it was um, constructed differently, I would totally keep this because I love the polka dots and the floral together. I just think that's super cute. I might try them on with a pair of jeans and see if I could tuck the shirt in and, and see if it would um, look okay like that. Let's try that and see. Okay, I tucked it into these jeans. It's okay like that. I just, I don't know if I want to keep it and have the, the fool with always tucking it in and being worried that the elastic's gonna pop out at any moment. <laughs> it makes kind of a bulge here where all the extra bow fabric is. So I think I'm trying too hard to make it work just because I really like the pattern, but 
I need to just keep pieces that absolutely work for me and that I love and that I know I'll reach for and not have to fool with to get it to look right. So unfortunately, this is probably gonna be a no. But it's really pretty. Okay, those are my pieces. Let's sit down, go over prices, and see what we think I should keep. So I did ask my stylist for some spring transition pieces and to elevate my wardrobe for work. So I think she did a good job. She said she sent me these wide leg pants to try to see how I thought about them. Something that I could maybe wear to the office, but I, I just feel like I'm so short that some of these wide leg pants just don't look right on me. <laughs> so. All seven items, my total would be $526. If you keep at least five, they give you a discount, 20% off. So that would take $105.20 off of that price, leaving my box to $420.80. And then my styling fee, my $20 styling fee would also come off of that. So $440 after taxes for all of the seven items. But... This was kind of a bust. I mean, the, the pieces were good, they just weren't great. And I don't need to add anything else to my overloaded closet unless I really love it. So this, this blouse was cute, but I didn't like the tie at the bottom. This blouse is adorable from here up, but I don't like the elastic or the tie on the side. I did like the Liverpool jacket. If I didn't already own a beige, blazer i would i would be tempted to keep this one but for 119 dollars, i just feel like it's a duplicate so i don't need to spend that kind of money to put another similar item in my closet so i'm gonna say no to it but i really do like it this is probably my favorite piece out of the box i don't think i'm gonna keep these pants i'm gonna keep looking for a better fitting pair of green pants for me didn't really like the way the Liverpool pants looked on me. So these are going to go back. So maybe I'll keep this fun, different dress. Um, I did like it. That would be something nice and cool to wear in the summer. And I did like the 78 and sunny emerald green top. Um, tucked in without the little bow at the bottom showing. So I might keep this one as well. I think it's pretty. I like the color. So it's between these two pieces. So if you had to pick one for me, let me know which one you think I should keep. All right, that's my Wannable. Thanks so much for watching. If you're not subscribed yet, please, please hit that subscribe button. It's free. I'm almost to a thousand subscribers, so I would appreciate your support. And thank you so much for all of you who are subscribed. I truly, truly appreciate it. So Hang on just a second. I will share some pictures from the bridal shower. Um, I did end up wearing the Walmart dress and it was wonderful. So um, it was a great day and the wedding is coming up really fast. So I might have some pictures of that to show y'all in about a month or so. So I hope everyone's having a wonderful day. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon on the next one.